Hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3, the blood and wine DLC where we're just going through optional stuff like crazy. Look at my pretty shoes, oh my gosh, they're beautiful. I never knew vampire yeah, the, I don't see any. I just see a bunch of dudes. <laughs> Are those two? Why is my toxicity so high? Like, those two potions only take up that light green area. Where'd the other stuff come from? Oh, maybe I, I can use the map now. I could try to fast travel? I should probably try to fast travel. <laughs> I should just, like, book it. Have I missed the party already? Because I'll feel bad. You can't fight, or I hate that you can't fight underwater ever. Like, I could throw a punch underwater. It wouldn't be very strong. Give me a disadvantage, but I could do it. All right, I'm definitely gonna have to follow this because I don't know. I'm definitely following the optional line. I, I'm supposed to be going to a tower? I'm not sure. Oh. This isn't a tower. It's pretty, but it's definitely not a tower. Okay, maybe it's working on becoming a tower. Not really a tower, but you know. She's got like her own little kitchen. Hey, how's it going? I'm just gonna go in here. Don't worry about it. It's locked? Okay, never mind. I definitely have to go this way past the guard. Halt. Need to see Siana urgently. In the matter of? Want to talk to her? It's important. Want to talk? Go see your gran at tea time. My Not man? Locked up on the Duquesa's orders. No doing without special permission. Period. Found some information important to her case. Need an explanation urgently. Ah, fine then. Haha, -ha, thank You're you. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you for my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. Thank you, my good man. I didn't want to have to knock you out. Okay, we're working on it becoming a tower. The witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. How's it going? You still planning on murdering come to everybody? See how I fare. I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's Ripon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from me. I but... know who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Goodness, you're simply a compulsive snoop. I'm in prison. Deadlock is dead. Did you not just drop it? Sienna, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Do you like my outfit? Why do you want to kill her? For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious? Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? Because she turned her back on you, then banished all memory of you. Bravo, Geralt. Yet another riddle solved, and your sick curiosity sated. Well, what now? Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. Oh, she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She oughta know. If only cause you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. Date another vampire? I probably will. Perhaps, just for a second, you could stop dwelling on all the wrongs folk have done you, and forgive her. Why should I? For old time's sake. You loved each other once. <sighs> Please. I don't know who fed you that rubbish, but... Read your you governess's did. diary. 
you played together were inseparable. Honoria'd get you into trouble sometimes, sure, but there were also times she stood up for you. When you had nightmares, only she could calm you. Time eats away at memories, distorts them. Sometimes we only remember the good, sometimes only the bad. Yeah. If she loved me so, why did she wash her hands off me? Forget me, hmm? Don't know. But you could just ask her instead of sending monsters after her. There's nothing she could say to change what she did to me, to justify it. Maybe. But there's nothing out there to justify what you did to her and all Toussaint. Yet Anna Henrietta hasn't given up on you. Ugh. You really want a happy ending, don't you? No such thing. Ah, with all of us living happily ever after. Go, Witcher. Or they'll give your medal to another. And that would be a shame. Farewell, Sienna. Would this have changed at all if we had done the deed, or would I just feel dirtier? Besides, you're about to die, and you're trying to survive, and you're like, let's do the deed. That didn't make sense. That's just me. Maybe she couldn't take us very seriously in this outfit, girl. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Do I? Need to tend to one thing first. I'll look in on them afterwards. So be it. Okay, talking to Damien is all... Well, will you stay long? Okay, he better not be far. I was thinking maybe I would... Okay, this is gonna take forever, isn't it? I was like, do I have something else to do? Ow! Would have been easier to just do the thing. What if I change my... Could I change my clothes right now? Would I get in trouble for that? The game would be like, no, go change. Go change. And I'd be like, mm, man. I'm in Tucson. I'm in the palace. Where are you, my man? You're outside in the palace gardens? Why are you out there? How do I? Um, Ahaha. Ha. Uh -huh. Oh, look. Are you sure, like, do you have the time to be doing this? I'm pretty sure, like, 70% of your population is dead. And, and you're probably, your whole town needs to be fixed, but you're throwing a ball. Pretty music. <laughs> Can't you tell I'm the most important person here with this beautiful ball gown I'm wearing? You, I was like, you? A dram of wine with 40 winks. I could go oh, how's it going, my man? You look good. Damien. Get out. It's about time. Ready for the ceremony? Oh, wow. Cool new scars, man. Your face doesn't look good. Though it looked even worse last I saw you. I apply a balm of Annika. Yeah, I hardly feel it anymore. Okay. Uh, should I... Mm -hmm. Got some important information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Deadloff and Siana's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? The murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister, her liege, traitor. I must alert my men. Enlarge the Duchess's honor guard. Make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. I'll see to it personally. I thank you, Witcher, for alerting me. And I appreciate it. I felt like it was only fair. Let's it was only begin fair. the ceremony. Come with me. Because he risked his awaits. position and everything. 
when he gave us the information about where Siona was at, and it's only fair for me to give that information back to him. Like, I want them to forgive each other, and so I don't know if me telling everybody and getting involved in this way is actually going to let that happen, but... I don't know. It, I don't think she'd in do anything else, name, but... I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. She is beautiful. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the ducal treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia. Slayer of the Beast of Beauclair. Step four. <coughs> we bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. I did it! I got an achievement! May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain. A friend of Beauclair. I hope that wine wasn't poisoned. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen Christ. barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Feels like a second distinction. I'm honored. Thank you. I trust you shall make good use of it. In a moment, I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet you also showed me her horrendous deeds. As head of state, I must judge her fairly, but she is my sister. Thus my heart bleeds for her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. Just out here in the wide open. The Witcher will take part in our talk. I'm not a prisoner. Free to do as I choose. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me. As one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say.
bitterness consumes Siana. She had cause to resent many of the court of Beauclair. I know her reasons, understand them even. But I can't condone the actions she chose to take. What is he talking about, Siana? You know exactly what. I was forcibly exiled, remember? To your benefit. You knew well the throne would then be yours, though I was the elder. The ministers I can understand. They've hated me since I was a child. So it's been a poor prospect for the wife of a duke. I even understand our parents. I'd always sense the problem. They simply feared me, for I dared to be free. That fabricated curse, it fell into their laps. A gift from above that brought relief. But you... Your dagger hurt most. You were my honorietta, dammit. My darling little sister. Now do you understand, Witcher? She betrayed me. Claim to understand them all? Why'd you come back for revenge? Have them all cut down, then? They deserved my vengeance. They detested me, all of them, as long as I can remember. But Honorietta understood me. Once. She was all I could cling to. Her betrayal hurt the most. Whew. You were children, then. You and your sister both had no control over what happened. You're wrong, Witcher. She had control. Remember, dear sister, the day they banished me from the palace. Of course, I'd had the idea to pelt the Nilfgaardian envoy with fish bladders, which we filled with rancid suet on a lark, and which you set afire at the last to impress me, I imagine. And I admit, you did. Hit him right in his hideous bald patch. Never laughed so hard in my life. But when it came time to find the culprit, you said not a word. I took all the blame and all the punishment. It's true. I did not stand up for you. I was too afraid. The council was unanimous. They listed all my offenses, my flights from the palace. Supposed acts of cruelty, inappropriate friendships. They cast me out, but you, the only one to understand me, you cowered in a corner, lifted not a finger to help. Not before, not after. You never tried to find me. That's not true. I searched for you. Sent out knights, gathered tidings from without. You did not wish to be found. Since the day you vanished, I have lived with the knowledge that I failed you. I'm sorry, dear sister. Can you forgive me? Stab her. <gasps> Please don't stab her. Oh, my gosh. sentence is gonna be but maybe even if she has to die at least they can forgive each other or maybe she can just live locked away I don't know she's free she's a free person so living locked away would be maybe fate worse than death all in all best part of the whole ceremony it was short Ooh, look at the stars perhaps for you as you ducked out early the others are probably just getting started and drunkenness never ends in this quaint realm. I'm back in my normal clothes! Not so fond of Toussaint after all, are we? Oh, this place is like a strong wine, Geralt. Good in small sips. Ha! 
How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. <laughs> All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? Of course. You decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I'm a vampire <laughs> and thus need no light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have absolutely no trouble seeing in the dark. <laughs> so, shall we? Yes. If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. <laughs> Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, <laughs> and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. Okay, I this will uh, put on the, the mask and stuff, I guess. Um... Ooh. Um. Are these the gloves? Okay. Light makes me oh so dreamy. I look ridiculous. Penny for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins? Uh, no, I was thinking about oh how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse. You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? <laughs> I was like, what? Where did the succubus twins come from? Hmm. I'm trying. Regis, where'd you go? in strange circumstance. We're still on that. Now, where'd that bloodsucker go? Won't be easy to track down. He's a vampire, after all. Okay. Damn it, where'd you go? Regis! What's up, Regis? Why'd you Damn go it, over where'd here? you go? Say, they called you a traitor. Alas, we have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we have another rule. An unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying... Out of sight, out of mind. I'm sorry. That is why I must leave Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Oh, let us make for my camp. I have an overwhelming desire to have another drink. So he's not going to be able to be with any vampires? Any of his own people, ever? Or just in Toussaint? Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning. Then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? <laughs> Still? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home. On the oh. nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. 
Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take What will Geralt lines? do? Don't know yet. Uh, don't really know yet. Might find the life of a hard-working vintner too tempting one day. Or maybe I'll just stick to the path, go on roaming, staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. I sense some poetry coming on, which, of course, brings to mind Dandelion. I can remember a night, not too far from here, if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? We just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. That first stain, Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellar's too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? I don't Killed know. him. Good. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? This is the end of Geralt's story. I kind of forgot. Distance is of the essence. I thought I might let you sell. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. Oh man, I'm getting like teary-eyed thinking about it. This is like the last of Geralt's story. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. Bye! Okay, that was like really touching all of a sudden at the end, but. Whew. That was a phenomenal DLC, and the end to a phenomenal game, and an amazing story by Project Red. I couldn't be. couldn't be happier, to be honest. It's. It blew away everything. Like, this game blew away all other games. And it's, it's crazy, like the, the weight and import that every single thing you did you felt in this game. And knowing at this point that Geralt, we don't get, we're not going to see his story anymore, like his story is done. It's sort of sad, but at the same time, like, yeah, I guess you could say like he deserves a rest. And I don't know. Any, any other Witcher stories that come out of CD Projekt Red, I think... Or something set in this universe will not it will not be Geralt. They've said that several times, but I hope they come back to the world at some point. It's fantastic. Um but wow, like having him look at you at the end, it was just like, oh my gosh, like you've been through hundreds of hours with him, you know, and it's just like and especially if you've been through one, two, and three. Like one, two, and three, like that's a lot of time, and people are really attached to his story, and plus the books and everything. Like, man, having him look at you at the end was a really nice touch. But, like, I didn't remember until that very end, right at the end, that this was... This was the last of Geralt's story, you know? I mean, I guess I could go and check and see what... What's on the table or something, but... Actually... I'd love to go home.
Where is home? New quest. Oh. Okay, I'm like getting all emotional and like touchy feely and thinking that that's the end of credits and dang. Okay. One more thing. Girl, making me making me look silly. Now it's all good. I like that's that's stuff that I feel like needed it's stuff that needs to be said. So. But that's kind of funny. This is like the epilogue of the epilogue. Perhaps perchance. Let's see cuz I do want to see whatever whatever we got from Regis. Regis alone made the DLC worth it. Like, not only was it just so well-crafted, but Regis is, like, my favorite character in the game by far. Like, what is the name of it? Be it ever so humble. The gift? Maybe Geralt, I don't know, like, does Geralt want to settle down and stop wandering? But I don't know why he'd want to stay in Toussaint. He does, he does seem to have a fondness for it. But... Does Geralt want to become a vintner? Does he Does he want to keep going on his path or what? I have a hard time seeing him like settling down and I don't think Yennefer would come chill here, but maybe. Maybe she'd visit us. Master Witcher, some unknown individual- It's Yennefer! I resisted as best oh, I wait, could. Oh, wait, 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 no, no. To no avail. Who is it? Alas. They did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. Is it Regis or Yennefer? If it's Yennefer, I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh, where are you? I did, I was, it is, this is all her stuff! It's all Yennefer's stuff, is she gonna live here? Why is she? There's no way Yennefer would want to live here. Unexpected as ever. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry! And beautiful as ever. Won't you ask haven't... why I've come? Or how I found I have you? missed her so much. Wouldn't oh my get a gosh. Answer anyway. Quite true. Used to bother me all your secrets. Now I know if you have something to tell me, you'll tell me. Don't need to ask. Oh I my missed gosh, you Geralt. Madly. I am dying Come outside. right now. We can hold hands and stare at the sky like some shitty two crown romance. <laughs> Geralt is like so. Oh, he's so complete with Yennefer around. Oh my gosh, do you want to stay here with me? Wow. Okay. Liking Toussaint so far? Hmm. The landscape's lovely and the towns are charming, no question about that. But? But the southern sun plays havoc with my wardrobe. To be blunt, wear black down here and you're pretty damn hot. <laughs> <laughs> Might need to think about changing your color. Off palette. white and pea green. Off white and pea green, for instance. <laughs> and I'll wear scents distilled from turnips and daisies. <laughs> I think I shall simply stay in the shade, and you'll bring me cool drinks at regular intervals. Okay. Yes. Bring of course, you money. whatever you want. So like he's like he's very different from Detlaf's like obsession. Like he's sort of obsessed with Yennefer, but it's like this quiet like it's this it's not obsession. It's like this just this he's smitten with her, but quietly. Like he doesn't force anything on her at all. He's just he'll just do what she needs or she wants, and he loves her, and that's how he shows it. And. And she knows it, and it's like, it's not like she's like using him like, oh, you're gonna do this and make me, like, no. It's like he shows his love by action, and she knows that, so she gives him the chance to show it. And it's like, a good, good, good cry. Quite a few books. Let me guess. Working on a new spell? Not at all. These aren't grimoires, just pleasure reading. The name of the orchid. A widower for half a year. Wowza. <laughs> Always thought you too busy to make time for something as impractical as pleasure reading. Because I was. 
but now I'm not. A few weeks ago, I awoke to the realization that I know not what to do next. I have no plan. I have no goal. And you know what? I like that. Finally, I can stop thinking about politics and focus on what's important to me. Oh my gosh, Which this is, is why I came here. Oh my gosh, this is like the true ending. Like I thought the other one was the ending with Regis. No, we get to have so that is probably the ending if you don't have a romance, I guess. But like if you have a Yennefer or Tr they're tying up every single loose end. I'm gonna cry. You know, feels kind of strange having a home. Are we seriously gonna chill here mm, for the rest of our I lives? Must say, I never pictured you owning real estate. I'm so happy with this. <laughs> was something of an accident. But I'm not about to complain. Yen, back then, before we fought the hunt, said you wanted to run away with me to the world's end. This vineyard, good enough? Hmm, yes. Although, there's one thing missing. Namely? I shall give you a hint. It's large. No! It has four legs. Category He's like, taxidermy. no! <laughs> oh, yeah. The unicorn. Fine. You can bring it down here. I knew you'd see things my way. No, mind. please, why? Ever thought this day would come? Me and you? Peace and quiet? I can't even picture Bees it and I'm seeing it in front of me. Chirping. I almost regret delaying so long before coming to you. I was quite the silly goose. You have doubts? Though I imagine it might have been hard coming after me. Always were proud as a peacock. Please, Geralt. I'm not like other sorceresses to feel that following someone means my wings have been clipped. Ooh, watch what you say about your colleagues. Remember, it's an <laughs> ill bird that fouls its own nest. Please nest. stop! Well said, Witcher. You're not only handsome, but wise, too. I feel a bit like the cat that got the canary. The bird puns yeah, are too much! <laughs> Yeah! You win. This time. <laughs> they are so adorable! How'd that start anyway? Our duels and wordplay. Forgotten. It was out of vernissage in Bannard. You started it to keep from going mad with boredom. I remember finding your sense of humor both grown worthy and somehow endearing. Never change, Geralt. I beg you. I'll do my best. Let's talk later, oh ho. So, talk again later? Of course. I'm not going anywhere. What now? Do I have any quests? Do I. Oh, she's reading a book. Talk. Always. With pleasure. Okay, never mind. But she's reading a book! Like, but Jennifer and Carol get to have a happy so, ending! Talk again later. <laughs> of course. I'm not going anywhere. Alright. Well, I'll go see what, um... Oh, Reed just left me. Now you can sit down. Please sit down. It's okay. Do you really like this place? A little house? Just the two of us? Well, you know, and everybody else. Oh, my room is over here. Uh, I also forgot to ever sleep on my bed, pretty sure, but better. Geralt, if you are reading these words, it means I'm already far beyond the borders of Toussaint and you have found my music generator. Of course, you may have this instrument however you like, perhaps something more fitting to your taste or better reflecting its function, for I have no doubt your knowledge on the subject of music is far more profound and thorough than mine. I've been working on this device in my spare time, but now it is finished, and I'm convinced, as convinced as an inventor can be before his invention has been used as, as intended, of the usefulness of this apparatus. You are surely wondering what function it is meant to serve. As the name indicates, the muta generator generates mutagens. It operates by absorbing electromagical energy waves from bodies, in this case, the bodies of the monsters and evildoers you kill. And when it has absorbed enough, so as to be charged with a critical amount, the muta generator changes the, st charges, no, changes the stored energy into a greater mutagen, which I suspect you will make great use of. As you surely understand, I am an amateur engineer, which is why you must forgive the lack of an ability for you to direct this operation. 
which mutagen emerges as a result is determined at random, meaning chance will decide if it is green, red, or blue. Chance, yet I have noted the colors tend to alternate by and large. I trust you shall find my gift useful. Your dearly devoted friend, Emil Regis Roholek Terziaf Godefroy. P.S. You might be wondering why I decided to toss the media generator into your home instead of simply handing it to you in person. Well, you must know I did it out of modesty, believe it or not. Take care, Ger take care, girl, and may my gift serve you well. Ooh -hoo. So what does it do? I'm basically done, but thank you. <laughs> Where does it go? Mute generator. Do I? What do I do? Oh, I have to gather charge? Okay. I mean, that's what it said, but I thought maybe I had enough of something to, to use it, but I don't know. But, anyway, anyway, this has been really amazing. I don't have any trophies yet. I can't even believe how amazing this game I can't wait to play this game for a second time someday, like, maybe on, like, stream or something. Toussaint has been a pleasure, and The Witcher 3 has been a pleasure, and you all have been a pleasure. Thank you so much. I just choked on my words a little bit. It's fine. But thank you all so very much for joining me and Geralt in this game, in all the DLCs, in everything. It really has meant a lot. I've been playing this game for a couple years now, and it's... I for daughter, you know. It's crazy. <laughs> Shh, lady, oh, I'm busy. So <laughs> it's just crazy to me that, some, that so many people still watch. And I kind of still want to cry because I've been really attached to Geralt. It's something I've been coming back to for a long time. And his story is amazing. And now I'm going to go reread all his books that I own. So thank you all once again for everything, for all of your support, for helping me so often. Let me give you and a kiss. You. Nope. No kisses for you. And for everything, I truly, truly appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next series.